Hi guys, I am Isa. Today I'm going to learn how to. So today I'm going to learn how to read and write to files using Lua and how to make models in Lua. So, anyways, so to read and write files, you first need you know like a variable for it. I want to say local my file is equal to io dot open log.txt so yeah I just created this log.txt file now have to specify the mode so, so you use r to read to file or w to write the file a you a to append to the file so we're going to talk about the answer later so since I don't want to read the file I'm going to write r we have to write so I'm going to write my file close at the end. So anyways, I'm going to write print. My file read. Now it prints what's inside of the file, so if I write hello inside of the file, it's going to print that. So now to write to the file, if I say W, so instead of, I'm going to write say my file dot write test writing. Now, if I run the file, so now if I run the file, it doesn't even happen to the terminal, but if you go to the file, it says test writing. But as you can see, if you run it again, it gets all overwritten. It's a way to fix that. We're using the append mode instead. So now if I see my file dot right, if I run it, it's going to append to it instead. If I run it again, it's going to keep on appending it. So anyways, so now we're going to learn how to make your own modules in Lua. You need a new file. Who the hell is my mod dot Lua? So you need a table for, you know, the actual module, so I'm going to say my mod is equal to, uh, it's going to be an empty table, to say return my mod, you have to add something to the table, so I'm just going to say like, my mod dot var is equal to 5. So my main dot lua. So in my main dot Lua, I'm going to say local mod is equal to require my mod. So now if I run the file, yeah, there's a my mod. It's supposed to be a string. Um, nothing happens, but uh, my mod module is imported. So now, if I say print my mod dot var, it prints out you know it's a variable. I put in the module. So now, so now I'm going to create some sort of displaying engine thing with modules. So I'm going to say. I'm going to say local hit is equal to, I'm going to say to a table, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. So we're going to say function 
mymoth.showpixels. I'm just going to add an argument called pixels. Oh, so I'm going to, go to say for for i equals to one comma. So we so I'm going to say comma y do print i. Now nothing happens. So just going to. Let's see. Show pixels picks. So we just one, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, so I'm just gonna start using the variable instead. This is in the actual function. So I'll still say oops super five. It does a print pixels i. So that says zero one 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 zero. I'm going to say io dot right instead. So now it says zero one 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 zero. So so I'm going to put in an if. So we're going to say if. I'm going to say if pixels i. So if pixels i is equal to. One, then I'm going to say io dot right. I'm going to say like this. I'm also going to include a screen at the end. Now I'll write three of them since there's three number ones. So I'm going to say else if pixels i is equal to zero, then io dot write. So it's going to so write nothing. So now it looks like that. So now I'm just going to copy this five times. So now it like that. We want it to after every mod dot show pixels function. It's going to you know create a new line. So here I'm going to write. Print. So now we're creating a new line after every, you know, thing. So now I can just replace. So now I can replace pixels with zeros or ones to draw some sort of shape. So now I'm also going to add twos. So currently, if I write twos, then there's not going to be any pixels in that place. So to fix that, I'm going to, I'm going to add another else if. I'm going to say else if pixels i equal to two, then enter whatever. Say i dot right hashtag I'm going to say else if pixels i is equal to three and then i dot right until like you say uh, percentage Now if I turn it the place the place was two and it's going to see that. Now if I like so then here so if I say three, and here I say two. We can see that the two and three say do what we coded them to do. So now we need to, so now we need to make something to happen. When it exceeds four, I'm just gonna so currently if we set one of the pixels to four then it's gonna you know not include pixels there as usual. 
So I'll put some ice out. I'm going to say bottle. This is going to be balls here. So, so now we have to create the file. So I'm just going to open. So, so, so I'm going to say file is equal to file.open org.txt w so, so in the end I'm going to say file.close So here I'm going to say file.write Two or three. And I'm also going to say print. Check the log dot text file. hexavolve.txt wall and I am so also going to write error bound now it says error from check the wall text file wall text file it says only it's one two or three so if I change it back to zero it doesn't show that anymore so anyways that's the end of today's tutorial if you enjoyed something, like and subscribe, so bye!